The Ghana Police Service, through their investigations into the Abyssin murder case, have discovered the intestines of the victims buried on a cocoa farm at Abyssin, according to a release signed by the Acting Director General, Public Affairs at the Ghana Police Service, Kwesi Ofori. The intestines have been assumed and sent to Accra for pathological analysis and forensic examination. Two sharp cutlasses with blood stains used by the suspect, which it appears have been retrieved from the scene as well. Meanwhile, the two families who lost their relatives in the case, as well as police personnel investigating the incident, have started receiving counselling as promised by the Acting Inspector General of Police, Dr. George Kufudan Pari, on Sunday when he visited Abyssin to sympathize with the two families. Representatives from the Ghana Psychological Association are also on board assisting in the counseling process. The Director of Counseling at the Ghana Police Service, ACP Dr. Felix Ose, has been speaking to the media and sharing what has transpired so far in the counseling exercise. We traveled from Accra, arrived on Monday, and provided some support to the policemen who are also traumatized. And so following from there, we came to the community, met with the families. It was really a very traumatic experience for them. We have been able to manage and then give them some trauma-reducing therapy in addition to debriefing and grieving processes. And as we speak, we have engaged the community who themselves have been gripped with fear and panic because they are asking themselves a lot of questions. Whether people who live with them can engage in such gruesome and horrific murders. For us, we didn't just end with this session. We also have the Ghana Psychological Association. Six of their representatives from the regional offices are with us throughout the process. And when we leave on Thursday, which is tomorrow, they will continue and then take it up. So that from the beginning to the end, and even after burial, that families will still continue to receive social support as well as psychological intervention. A member of the Ghana Psychological Association, Mrs. Evelyn Japan has also been speaking to City News. So we being clinical and counseling psychologists, we intend to provide psychosocial support, especially to the bereaved families. In times like this, we are expecting that they will be going through some traumatic experiences and so we want to take them through um, some stress coping techniques and other techniques that will be deemed okay for them to be able to live um, life worthy of. Your collaboration with the police so far, how is it? Very smooth, I would say. Now they are t tackling the basically the security aspect of it and we are dealing with the psychosocial aspect of that. But collaborating them has been smooth, has been easy, and I think it's, we are on course. And so far with the family too, in terms of uh, collaborating with them, are they collaborating with you? What, what, what can you tell us? Their families have been very supportive so far. Now we heard um, they are having their one week observation for the victims, and so we intend to quickly do something with them before even the one week celebration. And so we are anticipating that they will be hit more, most, um, during the one week. And so we intend to engage them before the one week observation. Thereafter, we will take over and do post activities with them as well. From Abisim, I am Michael Saponin from For City News.